Hello and thank you for joining me today on Boxing Mad Podcast. Uh, the reason for this podcast today is to talk about an article which is in this week's free issue of Boxing Mad magazine, which is based upon Ali versus Mike Tyson and who would win in the prime. Uh, with me on the line, I have Stevie Adams Jr., uh, author of said article, and staff writer Jack Summer. How are you doing, guys? You all right? Very well, thank you. Very good, Callum. Very good. Uh, I'm going to jump straight in uh, because I've recorded this once and forgot to record it, so we need to get cracking on. I'm going to jump in with Stevie. Uh, Stevie, can you tell me who you think would win that fight and why you think that would win that fight? The baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike Tyson. I think I think it would have been a great fight. Muhammad Ali was the greatest, and he deserves that name. But I think the prime Mike Tyson would have got to him after about 11, 12 rounds and, and stopped him on his feet. I mean, let's make this clear then, first and foremost. Are we, are we talking about a 12-round fight or a 15-round fight, at least I are? I'd say 15. So even in a 15-round fight, with the fact that how many times that uh, there's a factor there that uh, Mike Tyson never went those rounds and uh, Ali obviously did that on numerous occasions you yeah. still you still fancy him to wear him down after 12? yeah he was so fit and strong and and um, I think he would have I mean don't get me wrong I think Ali would have probably been ahead on the cards at the time Um but Tyson just was so strong and hit so hard and he moved so well and he was just a freak a 5 foot 10 220 pound freak yeah like I've said before in the past for his height of 5 foot 10 incredible how he ripped through that division isn't it yeah he um, well, I mean it's been said it's no secret but intimidation was a big thing I mean Michael Spinks was terrified there was a time before that fight he refused to leave the changing room <laughs> and um, he, he was just absolutely petrified. The fight was won and lost before the fight even started. And he was a great fighter, was Michael Spinks. So you, so you believe that, obviously, psychology played a big part as well, obviously, as it did with Ali and his opponents? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, that's why it would have been an epic fight, a great fight. I just think that Tyson, the animal, the 21-year-old 20, animal, would have got to him and stopped him on his feet. Maybe put him down and then uh, Dundee would maybe would have called a day. All right, uh, Jack, uh, your thoughts on that fight and who you think would win, Tyson or Ali? I'm on record as saying that in his prime, um, Tyson could beat anyone. But regarding that fight, I've been thinking about it. I think I'd lean towards Ali. So you've 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 changed your mind on that one then? I have, yeah. Um, I mean, Tyson looked amazing in those years during his prime, eight, 86 to 88, 89 yeah. maybe. Um, but it was a short-lived prime. And, and during that time, he, he beat a lot of top guys. Beat Michael Spinks, um, Larry Holmes. Well, it was a faded Larry Holmes. I don't think he beat anyone resembling anything close to a prime Muhammad Ali. Um, an another point which I think is interesting is that when you think of the people who beat Tyson, I'm not talking Danny Williams or Kevin McBride, because that wasn't a real Mike Tyson in there at all, but um, Buster Douglas, Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis. The three, well, the one thing that those three guys have got in common is their um, height and reach advantage over Tyson, um, similar to Ali. And then when you, you factor in that Ali had a better chin than those guys, he was faster, I mean, clever, a cleverer fighter. I was, I was about to say that. Do you believe that Ali had a better fighting brain, had a, had a tactician far superior to Mike Tyson? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ali's boxing brain was immense, absolutely immense. I mean, he, he beat two men who were unbeatable. He beat Sonny Liston, who everybody was terrified of. But he was Sonny was Liston was maybe a bit slow, and he beat George Foreman, who was also a bit slow, but they were ter people were terrified of him. But if you look back, Tyson was always susceptible to the left... Uh, sorry, Ali was always susceptible to the left hook, and that was Tyson's one of the Tyson's best shots. And if he landed that left hook on anybody, that it was over. He had a great chin though, Ali. He went down a lot of times. He was never never knocked out in his, his long career. No. That's very true. That's absolutely true. Um, I, I think I would. J j prime for prime. I think Tyson could knock him out. But if you ask me to put me on the spot, I'd say Ali on point. So Ali, Ali takes some distance over 15 rounds. Yeah. 
Okay. I, th- no, I think Ali, if it went to the cards, I think Ali would win on cards. I don't think Tyson could win on points. I th- but I think I think I do think he would get to him and break him down in the very late rounds. So would you would you see would you see a, a kind of thing with the 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 heaviness of Tyson's punches, with the power of Tyson's punches, uh, working the body of Ali, slowing him down. Uh, that he would stop him but obviously if Ali got behind his jab and moved like, like he did and picked off then Tyson would be in trouble maybe yeah, yeah uh, well possibly yeah but I mean it's not just the power of Tyson's punches people yeah, he did have power and he was a, an evil puncher but people seem to neglect the fact that he was absolutely rapid yeah he, he, had, the, he had the speed of like a welterweight he, he, he was a very very exceptional heavyweight in them three or four years he was, he was awesome I would say that Tyson was faster than Ali. I would say that, which would probably surprise to a lot of people because they always consider how fast Ali was. Yeah, that's the general consensus, isn't it, that Ali was uh, slick and fast. Hmm. So he, um, Tyson, Tyson threw stupid combinations as well, crazy rapid rat tat tat combinations that sometimes you didn't even see some of them going through the air. There, there, there is some great footage uh, of Tyson on pads on Tyson on bags that is out there on uh, YouTube. I might actually do a do a YouTube link on this week's free magazine uh, so the readers can actually see and prove your point there, Steve, that he was a fantastic combination thrower. Yeah. Uh, in his own right, so was Ali. But Mike Tyson, oh. like you say, Mike Tyson delivered that with such ferocity and speed. Yeah. Uh, Jack, for you, when... Was a prime Ali at his best to fight Mike Tyson? Um, yeah, I, I, w- I would say probably around the Zora Foley fight, but I mean potentially we missed Ali's peak years um, when he was exiled from the ring. Yeah, so we've we've got obviously no point there to. You would like to think there that would would see amazing fights and Ali at his absolute best, but obviously we've not got that to gauge it. Our so you, so that's when you think we'd we'd see a peak Ali, dear. Yeah. Uh, Stevie, a peak Mike Tyson to take on Manon Ali? All the time he was with Kevin Rooney. As long as he was with Kevin Rooney, I don't think anybody could have beat him. And obviously, after that... Is that after the, the, that, he, he won't even 50% of Mike Tyson. The moment he left Kevin Rooney, he won't even 50% of himself anymore. The movement stopped, the combination stopped, the bobbing and weaving stopped. The jabbing and working his way in stopped. It was just all about one punch after that. So, so when he was with Rooney, when yep. what fight could you pick out was which Tyson was at his absolute best? It's hard to say because he wiped everybody out, didn't he? But um, uh, I'm not. I really. I'm not sure. He, he was just. I couldn't. I wouldn't like to pick one, but he was phenomenal. He really was. He was just awesome. I mean, the guy that beat Michael Spinks. That was just pure intimidation. Pure and nothing else. He didn't. He didn't even have to throw a punch to knock Spinks out. Well, great. Well, great discussion, lads. Uh, obviously, for those watching this YouTube click, please, please, please get yourself to Boxing Mad magazine. Download the free magazine. It's on Google Play, iTunes newsstand, and a whole variety of, of different Android phones and iPads and tablets that you can uh, read it on. The article from Stevie will be in there. I will attach some YouTube videos, some clips of Ali and Mike Tyson at the best. Uh, and the article, uh, the magazine, sorry, will also be stacked with interviews of upcoming fights from this weekend and the next two weekends. So uh, if you can take the time to give it a read, it'd be much appreciated. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Happy, happy to any time. Jack, thank you, Woody, for joining me. Thanks, lads. I know you've been tight for time. We we ain't working that. Uh, I really appreciate your time. Please join us again next time.